Good morning students. Today the topic which we are going to discuss is textbook mapping. Now the learning objectives of today's topic are meaning and definition of textbook method means as a student you will be able to understand that this is the meaning and this is the definition of a textbook method. Characteristics of a textbook that these are the different characteristics of a textbook. Defects of existing textbook as stated by secondary education commission what are the defects of existing textbooks as stated by the secondary education commission use of textbook or different uses of the textbook suggestions for improvement in textbook how uh, there can be an improvement in the textbook meaning and definition of textbook the word textbook consists of two words text and book means the textbook is made of two words text and book text means written or printed material uh, by text means we the printed material book means a set of pages that have been fastened together inside a cover to read thus we can say that textbook is a book that consists detailed information about a subject for those people who are studying that subject means a detailed information about a particular subject will be there in a textbook several authors made the meaning and idea of textbook clear through their definitions helquist the textbook is a record of racial thinking organized by instructional purposes bakken textbook is a book designed for classroom use definition According to Oxford English Dictionary says a book used as a standard work for the study of a particular subject a manual of instruction in a subject of study L J Lewis textbook is a tool both for the pupil and the teacher means it's a tool that is not only useful for the students but it is also useful for the teacher good textbook a source of knowledge means a lot of information or knowledge should be gained by the textbook a guide and instruction to the people means the student will able to get the instructions from it a means of interpreting a truth a tool means it's a tool which can be used by a people or a teacher now physical aspects of a textbook size of the book it should be compact printing of the book it should be clear that every student can easily uh, learn or read what has been written in the book type size of the book means the letters the size of the letters paper use in books binding of books price of books overall get up of books price of books should be such that that it is affordable by every learner academic aspects thematic content organization of the contents textual language illustration which will aid textual exercises now choice of content structure of content categorization of content conversation related magnitude the structure and the book duration now the characteristics of text it is standard book for the prescribed course of study means it's the prescribed book for a particular course of study it is beneficial for both the teacher and student means a textbook is useful not only for the students but for the teacher also it is a manual of instructions means all the instructions are written or in a printed form are presented before the people and the student it is used for formal non formal and informal education means it is used for all the three concepts of education it is foundation on which the prescribed course of study is built it is a powerful tool for realizing the instructional objectives of the subject means the instructional objective of the subject will be fulfilled or realized only when we will use the textbook its present material in created form it is a learning instrumental instrument used by the students
its widgets, the habit of self-learning in the students. Means it developed the habit of self-learning among the learners. Now, qualities of textbook. Textbooks that are intended to be used should be useful for the students as well as the teacher. Means uh, a textbook when it is being made, it should be qualitative only when it is not only useful for the students but also for the teacher. They should be so designed that on the one hand, they may be written according to the psychological requirements of the students and on the other hand, they should serve the purpose of the teacher means a book should be designed in such a way that it should meet the psychological requirements of the students and on the other hand it should also serve the purpose of the teacher who wish to impart knowledge and the purpose of the teacher is to impart knowledge to the students in a successful and an interesting manner the size of the ship should be handy means we should keep uh, the size of the book so that it is handy it should be possible for the students to carry them properly they can easily carry the books to from one place to another easily they should not be bulky this is especially true about books intended for primary key classes and when we are preparing the books for the primary classes then they should be handy printing and get up of of the book should be interesting and attractive. The get up of the book should be interesting, then only the student will be attracted to learn or to study that particular book. They should be printed in the letters that they do not require stain on the eyes of the student. Means the printing material or the size of the alphabet should be such that that it do not require the stain on the eyes of the learners. On the other hand, they should be correctly and neatly printed. The exterior of the picture should be attractive. It should be attractive. If the exterior is attractive, student would like to carry them and keep them. If there is an attraction, the exterior attraction is there, then what will happen? The student will love to carry them the particular books and keep them there. This is true of the books intended for primary classes means when we are framing the books or writing the books for the primary classes we should keep in mind and they should be attractive interesting so the students uh, love to carry them with and keep them those books they should serve the purpose of the subject matter means the content of the subject should be there as well as the aims and objectives of teaching means it should fulfill the aims and objectives of the particular subject as well. They should be written with a view on the aims and objects of the teaching. Means when we are writing a particular book on a particular subject, the book should be so much so designed or should be written in such a way that it should be able to fulfill the aims and objectives of teaching first thing. And second thing is that with the help of the subject matter, we will be able to achieve the aims and objectives of the teaching. The textbook should be accurately written, means there should not be any mistakes. They should present the subject matter in such a manner that there is no fault in them. The subject matter presented there they should be up to date, means uh, as the knowledge is changing, the book should also be updated. The style of the book should also serve the psychological requirements of students of different ages. The psychological requirements of the students of different ages or different stages should also be satisfied. Or it should serve the psychological needs or the requirements of the students also. Textbooks intended for the students of the primary classes should be written in a story form. Means it should be written in a story form because the students of the primary classes love to listen the stories. In the textbook, mean for higher classes. When we are writing the books for higher classes, the authors may use the regional method or some other method that is useful for the student of the stage. 
the textbook should continue to keep the interest of the student alive in the same subject. It is not that that only one or two um, chapters are written in the form that the students are interested in reading. It's not like that. We have to prepare the book in such a manner that from the first chapter to the last chapter, it should be alive and the students are interested to learn that book or to read that particular book. The subject matter should be presented in a simple and lucid style and a clear form. The textbook should contain all the necessary and related material required for a particular stage of education. Means all the information, all the material, all the subject matter should be contain that particular book for which that particular stage of that particular book has been written. The textbook of different stages should be complementary to each other. Textbooks that are used in primary classes should have some bearing and connection with the textbook that shall be used by the student in the junior high school classes. It means there should be a complementary of the books. If a student has written or studied a concept in a primary section, then it should be correlated or it should be uh, such that written in the higher standard that the topic which he has uh, read in the primary work as the previous knowledge of that particular subject. Similarly, textbooks that are to be mined, the books that has been used by the students in the junior high school classes. Textbooks should be free from prejudice, means there should be no biasness. The present station of the subject matter should be unbiased. There should be no material which can injure the susceptibility of any class or category of people. They should contain objective description of the people and conditions of different countries. The textbook should contain charts. It should have charts, maps, diagrams, etc. As and where required means that where there is the requirement of chart, maps, and diagram, the book, the textbook should contain them. Without the chart, map, and diagram, etc., the subject matter of geography cannot be taught properly. It is therefore necessary to give place to all these things in the textbooks. Means a textbook should have chart, maps, and diagram. Then only the subject matter will be better understood by the students and this is the case in the geography. The geography can be taught properly only when the, the book of the geography contains the chart, maps and diagrams etc. Geography is developing subject. Every day we find that new researches have been made in the field of geography. Up to date knowledge of ge geography must be given place in the textbook means any subject who is getting up to date knowledge for example when we are talking about the geography uh, there are the new researches in the field of geography and for that a, a geography book must be given place in the textbook and the knowledge has to be updated regularly at the end of the every chapter of the textbook there should be certain questions means after the completion of the chapter, that chapter must have some questions and the questions must be related with the topic which we have learned or studied. That may be used for the revision of the subject matter. That questions may be used for the revision of the subject matter. Without these questions, the textbook shall not be useful. Means a textbook will be called as a useful only when there will be some questions related to the subject matter. If required, the textbook may give a substance of the chapter at the end of each lesson. Such provision will help the students to grasp the subject matter properly. Now, types of textbook, students' books, teachers' book, workbook, and supplementary readers. Now, scope of textbook. Textbook extend the habit of self-study and activity among the students. 
means it will develop the habit of self-study among the learners. The learners will develop the habit of self-learning, self-study and activities among the students. Develop the thinking and reasoning in the mind of people. The test will help to develop the thinking and reasoning abilities of the students. It is chance to do get proper different view of the subject matter. That's with the help of the textbooks, different textbooks of the same subject. Give us the chance to know the different views of the subject matter. It's developed teaching efficiency in different areas. To develop a good relationship between society and people, uh, to establish or to develop a good relation between society and people can be easily done with the help of the textbook. As the textbooks are based on um, or written on the needs of the society. It expands the knowledge of many extant areas. It makes opportunity to refer other disciplines. Now, it develops way to new finding facts and approaches to research fields means uh, any researches that has been done in that particular subject we will able to find the new facts and researches to that area through the help of the textbook picture tables are developed their understanding skills and the use of the tables the use of the pictures the use of the graph the use of the diagram help the students to understand that concept in a better form and it will develop their understanding skills. Defects of existing textbook as stated by Secondary Education Commission. Now what are the different defects of a textbook as stated by the Secondary Education Commission? The lack of interest shown by the Top ranking scholars that the writing of the textbook has been generally done in actual practice by persons whose abilities are far more equal to the task. The male practice in the selection and presentation of the textbook, which if we control. Practices in the selection that uh, the proper selection of the content is not there and the presentation of the textbook is not properly. The immoral tactics adopted by several publishers, it's also defecting the existing textbooks. The lack of research in the present preparation of textbook means uh, the writers are writing the textbooks. They are not giving or they are not bothered about the researches that has been done in that particular area. So the lack of resources has to be made by the writers when they are thinking of writing a textbook or preparing a textbook. The almost total disregard by private publishers to the need to bring out an early book such as teachers guide to accompany textbook. Besides these other defects means besides the defects which has been mentioned by the Secondary Education Commission. There are also various defects in the textbook. The author do not keep in mind standard in which standard the particular student is learning. Mental level ages of students, the mental age, the uh, requirements of the students of that particular age. The existing textbook have been written in accordance with the various methods of teaching. Have not been written in accordance with the various methods of teaching means they are not using the various methods of teaching while they are writing the existing textbook. The existing textbooks also suffer from dead material. They do not contain up to date material means the books are lacking the information and 
these books are not up to date means we are not updating the books as per the researches as per the results and uh, conclusions made by different researches the existing test book also suffer from unattractive get up and defective printing unattractive uh, get up then the students will not be attracted to learn from those books they are not interested to read those books and defective printing means it gives a lot of strain on the learners to read the particular concept or to read the particular line and sometimes uh, there are some errors and that's as the uh, defects in the textbook so this defectiveness of the textbook make their readers dull and tired and these uh, defectiveness unattractive uh, get up defective printing make their readers dull and tired most of the eminent authors do not like to use new simple simple styles in their textbooks and it is the need to write the content better in simple language so that every learner or student can easily understand but we are not using the simple styles in the textbooks now use of textbooks textbooks should be based on mental level class standard and the age of the students in primary class if we are writing a textbooks then it should be according to the mental level of the student class in which class they are studying standard what is the standard of that and age of the student and and we have to consider the age how much old that particular student is in primary classes when they are studying in primary class there should be less use of textbooks while much emphasis should be laid on oral teaching of teachers means at the primary classes the emphasis should be less on the textbooks while much more emphasis should be given on oral teaching of teachers there may be two or three days books having pictures on language and mathematics means uh, when we are talking about the primary classes there should be less use of pictures or uh, less use of textbooks and if uh, there are the textbooks it must contain pictures on languages and mathematics at secondary level so much emphasis can be on the textbook and self learning but when we are talking about the student who are studying at the secondary level so much emphasis should be given on the textbook and textbook should be such that that it should give the detailed information and knowledge to the learner and self learning as they are the students of the secondary level are involve themselves in this self learning but it does not mean that education should be book centered but it does not mean that our education should be book centered at degree level teachers should emphasize on oral teaching the teachers should give emphasis on oral teaching and should encourage the student physiologic philosophical to read more and for arriving the depth of the subject now purpose and importance what is the purpose and what is the importance of the textbooks they determine not only the subject matter to be taught but also the method of teaching means the textbook should not only determine that this should be the content of the particular subject books it should not determine or focus only the subject matter to be taught but also the methods of teaching but also it should give focus on the different methods of teaching that should be employed to teach the learners textbooks are the only tools in the hands of the teacher in indian situation 
even when we are talking about the Indian situation. The textbook is the only tool with which they are able to run their teaching programs with it. And that is the only tool with the help of which they can run their teaching program smoothly. If we are uh, remove textbooks from the hands of the teacher, then we are saying that the teaching program will not run in a smooth process. Textbooks are good learning instruments. Means with the help of the textbook, we will able to make the students learn a good learning instrument is only our textbook as they can revise their lessons with the help of the textbook they can revise the lesson which they have read in the classrooms whenever they want to do so and they can revise the lesson plan anytime anywhere when they want to do so Textbooks are the chief vehicles for attaining the goals of the curriculum. And every curriculum and the, every subject has some prescribed goals and objectives. And uh, textbooks help us to attain those goals, objectives, and purposes. Textbooks feel the needs of the students. No. Uh, the textbook uh, is written uh, in accordance with the psychological needs of the students. Then we can say that the textbook is filling the needs of the students. Textbook should be promote moral education and the content of the textbook should be selected in such a way that it should develop and promote moral value among the learners. Textbook give concrete form to the curriculum and textbook is giving a concrete form to the curriculum. Scope of the any topic can be better known with the help of the textbook. They have the teachers in right planning of the yearly book. Means, uh, uh, textbooks are helping the teacher to plan for the year work how many days it required by the teacher to finish the course, uh, what activities can be planned by the teacher. All these things, uh, the textbook are helping the teacher. Textbook should be based on the characteristics of children. Means, why we are uh, writing a textbook? It should be written in such a way that it should fulfill the characteristics of children. It Towards the promotion of national goals like democracy, socialism, secularism, and national integration. Now, our textbook should be written in such a way that it promote our national goals. Our national goals like democracy, socialism, secularism, and national integration. Now, what are the different merits of our textbook? First one is textbook present content material in compact form. Means the text material or the printed material that is presented before the learner is presented in the content in the textbook through a compact form. To suggest activities means with the help of the textbook, the, the teacher will have the idea that these activities can be given to the students for that particular topic to keep the teacher and student on right track means it's work as a guide to not only for the students but also for the teachers also uh, why because the textbook helps the teachers to plan their teaching learning process accordingly and it's the textbook that is keeping both teacher and students on the right track to develop the thinking and critical power of the teaching. It develops the 
thinking and critical power of the teachers basis for classroom teaching means the teach classroom teaching will be organized on the basis of the textbook that is being prescribed for that particular class a cure for bread and effective teaching means it will work as a cure for bread and an effective teaching it acts as on a teaching aid for the teacher and it is a uh, helping hand it work as a teaching aid for the teachers now be merits of textbook methods. too much dependence on textbook give temporary bookish knowledge means that the student will see that all the information are already in the textbooks why i should go and attend the class so too much dependence on textbooks and gives temporarily bookish knowledge uh, the student will read the book but he will not get the uh, explanation by the teacher first thing and uh, the concept of the book uh, is that uh, we are not including so much examples in that but when the teacher will explain through the textbook he will explain with the different examples by incorporating the different examples in the teaching learning process there is lack of direct experiences means uh, when we are talking about the classroom teaching the teacher gives so much experiences uh, uh, experiences give examples related to that so the student are uh, directly getting the experiences from the learners from the student but uh, when we are talking about the textbook it's uh, it is a lacking of direct experiences in the textbook the student acquires second knowledge lack of interest shown by the top ranking scholars carelessness and cheating done by the publishers now suggestions for improvement in textbook some textbook should certainly be prepared by the education department of education means government that there are some books should be prepared published by the education department of the government their standard should be high and the books that are going to be published from the education department of government should be of high standard in all respects so that other publishers may prepare suitable textbooks of the standards of the textbook published by the government so when other uh, publishers are writing the textbooks on the basis of those prepared by the education department of the government then that textbooks will be of high standard so that we are able to make an improvement in the content in the selection of the content in the presentation of the content and this defect of our uh, uh, textbooks will be removed their standards should be high in all respects so that other publishers may prepare suitable textbooks of the standard of the textbook published by the government the textbook should have suitable pictures means a textbook should contain suitable pictures or the relevant pictures related to the subject matter diagrams it should have diagrams and illustrations it should have explanation in order that they may seem interesting to the student and the content the pictures the diagrams and the illustration should be presented in front of the student in such a way that uh, students may seem interested in learning or reading those particular books the textbooks on different subjects should not be limited we should not fix that this much should be a subject textbooks related to that particular subject six or seven textbooks of each subject should be prepared so that the headmasters and teachers may have full freedom of selecting the best book means we should not limit the publishing of 
books of for a particular subject to unlimited no we should ask the publishers to publish as many books as they can publish on a particular subject or content now what will happen then then it's give the opportunity to the headmasters and teachers to have full freedom of selecting the best book from among the six or seven books that are present Pressure should not be exerted on school authorities and teachers in the selection of them. That these are the only books that you have to select. The textbook should not cast any reflection on any society, class, community, and religion. They should help in developing the feeling of national integration and international understanding. And uh, the book should be written in such a way. that it will develop the feeling of national integration and international understanding among the learners and the students the textbook should be prepared by subject experts means it should be prepared by the experts of that particular area the authors should be given reward for good books um if some uh, see that these are the uh these particular books are the best books for that particular subject then these books should be given some reward at the national level good authors should be invited to write textbooks for different levels of education means good authors should be invited from all over the country so that they can write the textbooks for different levels of education the central and state government should work together for the preparation of suitable textbooks means uh, both at the central and the state level government should work together for the preparation of the suitable textbook for that particular subject or the um, content some standard foreign textbooks should be translated into indian language and if we ask see that these are the standard foreign language uh foreign textbooks and that should be translated to into indian languages then it should be done it will facilitate availability of suitable textbooks now if we have translated those books into indian languages it will facilitate availability of suitable textbooks the policy should be practically followed for scientific and technical subjects also and translation of the uh, foreign textbook into indian languages it should be practiced or followed for scientific and technical subjects also the correction of textbook should be a continuous process means updation should always be there and for this committee should be permanently appointed and the correction should be there updation should always be there and for that a committee should be appointed and it should be on the permanent basis then only the correction on the textbook should be done fast and uh, these committee will work or ensure that uh, correction should be done in a proper manner now uh, today we have discussed the topic textbook matter merits demerits importance need and how to make a qualitative textbook for further reading on this particular topic you can refer these references now now let us discuss some mcqs as mcqs are the best way to know how much you have mastered or learned a particular concept now the first one is when was printing press established in calcutta during the reign of the british rule when was the first printing press was established in india and that was established in calcutta during the british rule options are 1820 b 1824 c 1821 or it's the 1830 so what will be the correct answer students and the correct answer will be option b that is 1824 who stated textbook is a book designed for classroom use who has given the definition that 
textbook is a book that is designed for the use and that has to be used in the classroom teaching. Now, the options are Helquist, B, American textbook, C, Lenge, D, Bakken. So, this definition was given by Bakken. Now, who stated that? Means who has given the definition? The textbook is a record of racial thinking organized for instructional purpose. Means a textbook is a record. Means the information which uh, it is containing of racial thinking organizing for instructional purposes. Means the uh, purpose of a textbook is that uh, we are able to achieve the instruction objective that the racial thinking organizes for instructional purposes. Now the options are A. Linge, B. Macken, C. Halquist or D. Alexander. Now these are the options students A, B, C. Now you have to select the correct one on the basis of the given choices and the correct answer will be yes. The correct answer will be option C that is Halquist. Now the fourth one printing layout is what do you know about the printing layout? Options are A. Domain B. Other domain C. Internal domain or it's D. External domain So these are the options and you have to select the correct answer and the correct answer will be option B that is other domain Now Selection of the content is a A. Domain B. Other domain C. Internal domain or it's the external domain. Now these are the options and you have to select the correct one and the correct one will be option C that is internal domain. Now the sixth one, what is meant by text? How you will define a text? Options are A. Printed material B. Used material C. Useful material or it's the useless material. So these are the options and now you have to select the correct one. And the correct one will be option A that is printed material. So we can say a text is known as or may be defined as a printed material. For the evaluation of a textbook. What do we usually use? A. Schedule B. Scales C. Case study or it's D. Question I. Now, these are the options A, B, C, D. Now, you have to select the correct one and the correct one will be option B. That is for the evaluation of a textbook, we have to use scales. Which things should be taken into consideration while selecting a textbook? Now, what points should we keep in mind when you are going to select a textbook? Now, now the options are selection of content means which content has been selected for writing that particular book or the textbook. Price, what is the price of that textbook? Organization or it's D, all the above given choices. Now, these are the options and now you have to select the correct one on the basis of the given choices. And the correct answer is option D, that is all of the above given choices. Means while you are selecting a textbook, you should select that textbook on the basis of the content, the price, the organization. Now, what is meant by a book? A. A set of pages that have been fastened together inside a cover to be read. B. Class. C. Teaching. Or it's the learning. So, the correct answer is a book is known or a book can be called as a set of pages that there are number of pages 
that has been fastened together inside the cover to be feet. Now the tenth one, dash, present content material in compact form. Who has presented the content material in front of the teachers and the students in the compact form? Now the options are A. Textbook, B. Class, C. Teaching, or it's D. Learning. So the correct answer is option D, the, or it's C, or it's B, or it's A. Now you have to select the correct one. And the correct one is, yes, the students, the correct one is option A. That is a textbook. So we can say a textbook present content material in a compact form. Thank you students with this particular narration. You mm -hmm. have understood the concept of a textbook. Then we have discussed about the various definitions given by the different educationists about the textbooks. Then we have discussed the qualities of a good textbook. That these should be the quality of a uh, textbook then we will consider that it's a qualitative book then we have discussed the different characteristics of a textbook then we have gone through the advantages and demerits of a textbook what are the uses of a particular textbook and how a textbook has to be improved and what are the effects of the present textbooks and how these defects can be removed so that a textbook can be called as a qualitative textbook. Thank you students. Thank you so much for your patience listening.